Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Water Deck Profile for the Anti-Special Summon Trap Hole Deck. I affectionately call the Asshole. Um, I'm just going to run through the cards real quick, show you what we got. We got one Thunder King Ryo, three uh, Trap Tricks Myrmelo, three Fossil Dyna. We're playing one of each Barrier Statue for a total of six Barrier Statues, two Summoner Monk, three Jaugen the Spiritualist, Raigeki, two Dark Hole, three Terraforming, three Mystical Space Typhoon, two The Seal of Ori Kalkos, two Time Space Trap Hole, two Trap Hole, one Bottomless Trap Hole, two Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, three Mirror Force, and Vanity's Emptiness. And then for the extra deck, uh, basically the strategy with this, well, the, well, you know, I'll just talk about this first. Um, the strategy with this deck is to prevent special summoning. Um, we do that mostly with uh, Fossil Dyna, with Jalgen, who just stops special summons on either side of the field outright. And then the barrier statues only allow you to special summon the archetype that they are. So darkness is only dark, only wind. If you get out two barrier statues, they can't special summon anything. So generally you don't want to use the extra deck. Uh, you can't use the extra deck. I've rarely used the extra deck. You can't use it while Seal of Ori Kalkos is out. You can't uh, summon while Fossil Diner or Jaugen is out. The only possible uses these have is if you get Summoner Monk, you can use him to grab Meyer Mello or a Barrier Statue, in which case you can make Rank 4s. So, as such, I've got mostly generic, like, Rank 4s, um, like Dark Rebellion, Utopia, Ragna Zero, Silent Honor Arc, Castell, Exiton, Gaga Ga. And then some of these other ones are just like, if you use Summoner Monk to grab the Barrier Statue of the uh, Inferno, there's a fire monster. It's it's not particularly good, it's just you can use it if that's the only barrier statue you have left. So we have one of each archetype. We have wind, we have earth, light, dark, water, fire. Uh, so yeah, all our things are set. I run a couple um, Rafelsia, just because I have more trap holes in this deck, but I've honestly only used this like once or twice, so these are not really that important. You don't even need a, you don't even need an extra deck with this, honestly. So as far as what they all do, um, Thunder King obviously prevents special summons. He also prevents your opponent from drawing through their deck. Um, he's mostly here just because he has the highest attack. Uh, he's good normal summon material. Because um, basically when you, when you have all these monsters out that prevent special summons, they have really low attack. So to prevent them, that's why we run all these trap holes. Specifically the regular trap hole, they have to summon something with higher attack than these. Um, we also run Steel of Ori Kalkos to boost their attack up, so that they have, he becomes 17, these all become 15, he becomes 21, and Thunder King Ryo becomes 24. So, these guys are mostly here just to be big beat sticks. Once you have uh, Steel of Ori Kalkos, these are your, your big attack point monsters. Um, they can really get over things that have 2,000 defense or more than 2,000 attack. Um... And of course, Meyer Mello also searches out whatever trap holes you need when he's summoned. Um, Fossil Dyna, also when he's set, if he's flipped face up, he destroys all special summoned monsters, so you can set him as like a trap. Although, uh, again, that rarely happens because you have Dark Hole and Raigeki to get rid of stuff like that. Normally you'll get one of these first turn, and the, the point is to not let them special summon in the first place. Uh, the Barrier Statues, as I said, um, if you were running this deck in real life, You'd probably want to check whatever the meta is, like whatever is the most played decks, wherever you're going to play with this, and uh, whatever's not being run, like if there's if there's no water decks in the current meta, run three barrier statue of the torrent, or run three drought. Uh, the light and dark you probably don't want to run. Uh, in the side deck you want to fill in the ones, like you know if if you just happen to go against UAs and you're running three earth, run something other than earth in the side deck to swap it out for. Um, you could honestly just run a whole barrier statue deck if you wanted to. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, Summoner Monk, late edition, of course not all that useful. He's mostly there because you can special summon any of these statues or Fossil Dyna. And, uh, because you can only activate one Seal of Ori Kalkos per turn, all these other terraformings and the other Seal of Ori Kalkos become useless once you've activated one. So, he's just, you can, you can, uh, get rid of him to make, like, a recovery play. If they get rid of your Ori Kalkos, then you can do rank 4 plays. Um, if you start 
uh, activate Ori Calcos first, and then you have like a terraforming, you can use Summoner Monk to get out one of your non-special summon monsters. Uh, Jaugen has the lowest attack, uh, but he, again, he prevents all monsters. You can also discard a random card from your hand to destroy all special summon monsters. He's good particularly against things like, um, if your opponent has like an ice hand out, or something that like, when it's destroyed, it special summons something else. You can put him out, destroy them, and because he's out, they can't summon anything else. Uh, he also can't be trap hold or bottomless or anything, because he has very low attack. Uh, Raigeki in the Dark Hole are just to clear the field if you go second, or if they clear your field and summon something out, you destroy them, and then you reestablish the no special summon rule. Um, Mystical Space Typhoon is just here to deal with continuous traps and stuff like that. Specifically, uh, Psy Frames I was having some trouble with. They have a continuous trap that lets them banish stuff. So, Mystical Space Typhoon gets rid of that. Um, you could probably swap it out with anything else. Um, it's one of the debt, like, one of those cards that, like, really not too great in the meta. Maybe swap it out for something else, uh, halfway through if you realize it's not that good. Uh, likewise, with Trap Holes, we're running two Time Space, two Trap Tricks, two Trap Hole, one Bottomless. You'll want to customize this for whatever the current meta is. Uh, you'll want to keep other copies of these in your side deck, so that once you find out what your opponent's running in the second duel, for the, for the second duel, you can swap in whatever is most needed. Um, I'd probably run three trap hole just to start out with, because if you shut down special summons, they're going to need that normal summon. And uh, all your stuff has at least a thousand, so if they want to get over it, they have to summon something with more than a thousand, and then trap hole takes care of it. Uh, really quite useful. Um, again, I'm just going, because I'm doing singles, I have to do uh, one or two of each. Uh, three Mirror Force. Storming Mirror Force can work almost as well, but I found that a lot of those normal summonable monsters you just want to kill. Um, this, obviously, you could probably run both if you wanted to get rid of your trap holes. Either one, it all works. And of course, it wouldn't be anti-special summon without Vanity's Emptiness. So then our side deck... Uh, Solemn Morning, also very good, stops any kind of summon. Um, I originally had Lose One Turn in here instead of Mirror Force, uh, just because it stopped more effects from happening, it slowed the deck down so I could uh, establish the No Special Summon rule. Um, but it didn't work, like, if you got this and you already had something out, then it was just, this was just useless. I found Mirror Force worked better. Uh, Soul Transition, because you're running a lot of level 4s and you don't special summon, this is great draw power. If you get like 3 barrier statues, you could just draw, get more. Uh, likewise, Judgment Scales, because you don't have... You have very little draw power, you have very little... Everything's one for one a lot of times. You're going to use Mirror Force to stop whatever is attacking over this. So Judgment Scales, or Balances of Judgment, whatever you want to call it, actually works out. Um, originally, this deck ran 3 Vanity's Fiend and three Majesties Fiend, and then Soul Exchange and Stormforth. Um, it's a good combo. I was getting Trap Hold too much, or Mirror Forced. There's a lot of, like, anti-monster uh, stuff out there, or just, they just destroy one monster. I found it was better to keep these little ones out that I could keep summoning than to make a big play with a big monster and just have that get destroyed. Um, but if you want to, that's another option that's very anti-meta as well. Especially since these can get rid of big things. It works a lot better if you go second. Uh, likewise, Creature Swap. Against certain metas, if you're going second, if you, um, your opponent has really high attack point monsters, uh, Creature Swap works really good, especially for Jaugen, who has such little attack. And of course, with Seal of Orichalcos, all your monsters get 500. Your opponents don't. So if you have something equal, you can Creature Swap it, and then it becomes more powerful on your side. And I already explained the other barrier statues. So there you go. That's the asshole deck. Have fun. Piss off your friends. Um, I've had more people... I've gotten more fuck yous playing this deck than any other deck. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see it in action, of course there is a link in the description and annotation on the end slate. Till then, I'll be back next week with another What a Deck profile.